Hello students and fellow researchers. I am going to discuss research designs, focusing on cross-sectional survey design and its appropriate statistical analysis tools. A cross-sectional sample survey design is one where data are collected at a single point in time, or qualifiedly where the time difference will not change the measurement, even if the data gathering is done within a range of times. Its purpose is to describe the features of a general sample of a population, recognize differences among particular subgroups, or measure associations among variables within the sample as of the time of the study. This purpose spells the statistical analysis tools that may be used in this type of study. To describe the features of a general sample of a population, we may use descriptive statistics such as frequency count, percent, arithmetic mean, standard deviation, and others. To recognize differences among particular subgroups, we may use arithmetic mean, difference, and t-test of difference. And to measure associations among variables within the sample as of the time of the study, we may use Pearson R for variables with cardinal measures. By serial correlation, for dichotomous nominal measures, phi coefficient, contingency coefficient, and Kramer's V for variables with nominal measures, and t test of R and chi test, chi square test for probability samples. This is the diagram of the cross sectional sample survey design. Let us consider this example. Dr. C conducted a survey among the faculty members of V University to determine each faculty member's age, number of friends, sex, the sex of the presidential candidate she or he prefers, the sex of the immediate supervisor she or he prefers, and her or his sex, she or he would have chosen if she or he had the magical power to do so. He also is interested to find out if a relationship exists between his respondents', respondents age and sex and number of friends, the sex of her or his preferred presidential candidate, the sex of the immediate supervisor she or he prefers, and the sex she or he would have chosen if she or he had the magical power to do so. He also would like to find out if differences occur among the sexes. He randomly sampled 25 students, surveyed them on July 1, 2023, and collected the data tabulated in the following Excel sheet. So this is the Excel sheet showing the data that Dr. C collected. These are now the statistical analysis tools for the description of the general sample of the study. For the age of respondents, arithmetic mean, lowest value, and highest value. For the number of friends, arithmetic mean, lowest value, and highest value. For the sex of respondents, frequency count and percent. For the preferred sex of the presidential candidate by the respondent, frequency count and percent. 
for the preferred sex of the immediate supervisor, frequency count, and percent, and for the preferred sex by the respondent, frequency count, and percent. These are the statistical tools for the recognition of differences among subgroups in the particular study. For the proportion of the male respondents that prefers a male presidential candidate, proportion and one sample t-test. For the proportion of the male respondents that prefers a male immediate supervisor, proportion and one sample t-test. For the proportion of the male respondents that prefers a male sex, proportion and one sample t-test. These are the statistical analysis tools for measurement of association among the variables of the study. For age of respondents and number of friends of respondents, Pearson R and T-test of R. For the age of respondents and preferred sex of presidential candidate, point by serial correlation and T-test of R. For the age of respondents and preferred sex of immediate supervisor, point by serial correlation and T-test of R. For the age of respondents and preferred sex, point by serial correlation and t-test of R. For the sex of respondents and number of friends of respondents, by serial correlation, phi coefficient, and chi-square test. For the sex of respondents and preferred sex of pre presidential candidate, point by, by serial correlation, phi coefficient, and chi-square test. For the sex of respondents and preferred sex of immediate supervisor, by serial correlation, phi coefficient, and chi-square test. For the sex of respondents and preferred sex of immediate supervisor, by serial correlation, phi coefficient, and chi-square test. For the details on using Excel for descriptive and inferential relationships in connection with this presentation and other research and statistics lectures, search in YouTube my name, Eddie Seva C. Thank you for viewing and listening.